I love you guys, but sometimes some of you lot, and if this video triggers you, you might be the one I'm talking to. <laughs> hey people, it's Temi if you're new here and it's time for another Temi's tirades. So this happens over here on my channel on Tuesdays where I rant about some art related topics. If you want to check out the other videos in the series, I'll link the playlist here and down in the description. And let me know in the comments if there are any specific topics you want me to cover. But in today's video, I'm going to share one thing that I thoroughly dislike about the art YouTube community. Where do I begin? <laughs> Well, I'm going to start by saying I appreciate the majority of you. I love early gang. You guys that are here in the first hour of a video going live. I love interacting with you guys. And honestly, the majority of you are sweet. And just getting support from you guys is such a blessing. But in this video, I'm addressing a small group of people. And if this video triggers you, I might be talking to you. But this video is mostly banter, so if you're not British, that just means I'm mostly kidding. I'm also slightly serious, so change. So the thing I want to address in today's video is wrongfully attacking people for the notion of copying. And I don't mean copying a reference. I covered the whole thing of, is realism real because you're just copying a reference picture? And if you want to see my thoughts about all of that, I'll link the video here and down in the description. You can watch it after this one. So this is a bit multi-layered. So I'm not talking about stealing art in any capacity. Capacity. I'm not talking about stealing someone's art style. I'm not talking about literally stealing the work and then putting your own signature on it. I'm not talking about any of that. What I am referring to is two artists, especially in the realism space, using the same reference picture and then one artist now being accused of copying the other artist. Let me explain. Okay, so for a bit of context, I posted a video where I was drawing a strawberry and I was just showing how to blend colour and pencils in this video. Normally I do portrait drawings on my channel, but I find that with beginner friendly tutorials, portraits can seem very intimidating. So I thought, let me do a still life piece. I initially even considered drawing some cherries, but I found this reference picture of the strawberry and I settled on that. I mean, I've seen loads of people do this chocolate dipped in strawberry strawberry dipped in chocolate <laughs> it's not a new thing at all and so when i saw that reference i was like oh cool let me teach these people how to draw the strawberry so as i mentioned i posted this video and for a while it was fine but then it started doing some big numbers and it went beyond my audience so i mean guys subscribe then i started to get comments like why did you copy super ray dizzle you stole her artwork for the thumbnail do you think i'm gonna come on big big youtube and steal somebody's work and think i can get away with it are you okay <laughs> And initially I was baffled because this whole thing just seemed very random to me. And then I remembered a video that Ray did where she was using, I think, supplies that she hated and she drew the strawberry in that video. So then I understood where people were coming from. Clearly, if you're a supporter of Ray and you saw that she's done this strawberry and but all of a sudden this random girl is doing this drawing, I can understand why you'd be on the attack. But can you even be sure that it was stolen before you start attacking somebody of stealing, please? Like in this situation, I fully did not understand it. I was being attacked for stealing her drawing and putting it in my thumbnail. Look at the two thumbnails. Does that even look like the same strawberry? So yeah, first it doesn't make sense because the drawings are literally different. Secondly, in the first few seconds of my video, I show the completed drawing. It's not a printout. <laughs> It's the actual completed drawing in the sketchbook. And finally, if you actually watch the video, I show the piece from start to finish, talking through the entire process so that you could also do the drawing. So it's like, how did I steal a drawing that I just showed you me drawing? Word, 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 word. And I kind of get it. You're loyal to Ray, so you need to have her back. If some random unknown artist is trying to steal her work, you need to let them know, right? So I can understand why people are coming at me with this kind of energy. But did you know that the strawberry does not belong to Ray? As far as I'm aware, she did take the reference picture. She wasn't the first person to do a chocolate cover strawberry. And clearly she's not the last. <laughs> and of course, I'm in no way attacking Ray. Ray, if you're watching this, I love you, girl. <laughs> I just find it funny that some people on the internet just wake up daily and choose violence. But I found that you can't argue with everybody. Some people just have nothing better to do than to be type, 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 type in. Because I even left a pinned comment that said, just to address the comments saying I stole Super Ray Dizzle's drawing for the thumbnail, I literally show you the process of me drawing the strawberry in the video, lol. I love Ray's content, but I'm no art thief. Many people have used the same reference. And it's crazy to me that people watched the video, read the comment and still commented. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this whole thing is not even worth making sense of because some people just like to do the most. 
And when there are things that people should have energy for, they won't have it. They'll be pimp, they'll be silent in the corner. But to call somebody a thief, they'll be there. <laughs> And I guess one good part of this was the fact that her fans really had her back here. But I think my point here is that you need to be sure about the accusations. Because if this was the case of art theft, of course call it out, of course address it. I think that's so important. But I think it's also important to do your homework. One simple glance at the thumbnail would have told you nobody stole anybody's drawing. But even the topic of inspiration versus copying is actually a long one. And in this case, I found this strawberry picture completely independent to Ray, so it, it just didn't solicit any of the backlash, to be honest. And ultimately, I think the thing I hate the most is the whole stan culture, and I think it can be very toxic. Because how can you be so wrapped up in your fandom with this person that you wouldn't even want to check the facts? So yeah, I think definitely hold people accountable. I'm not saying artists should get away with stealing work, I don't think that's right at all. But I also think before you come at them, at least come correct. Anywho, rant over too long didn't read hold people accountable if you think they're stealing from other artists but be sure they're actually stealing from the artists before you come all over them let me know your thoughts down below and thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and share and i'll see you on my next one goodbye